Good morning, everybody. This is Zero Gravity Training. For those who just found my channel, I want to invite you to subscribe and follow Zero Gravity Training. It's a strategical approach on each and single workout session, extracting the most efficiency that we can. Welcome aboard. You see, I have a little tandem here uh, made out of slam ball, uh, dumbbells, 10 kilograms each, uh, and two more uh, options for body weight. So this workout is going to be made out of burpees. It's associated with the clock because every single 10 reps, you're gonna be switching. You start with one equipment, it's gonna be dumbbells. So 10 reps here, then you switch 10 reps here, 10 reps with a slam ball, 10 reps here. Let's discuss in details what kind of reps we should expect. First of all, I wanna tell you that the total amount of reps has to be 200, which equals um, uh, five times each of the round, obviously four rounds, five times each of the round. So you achieve 50 reps on each of those disciplines. Discipline number one is going to be dumbbell burpees devil press. Let's bring these guys here. So let's go through the detail. All right, first of all, so the dumbbells are in front of you. All right, step number one. Inhale, drop down. Step number two, exhale, get in a plank. Step number three, inhale, exhale, push up. Step number four, exhale, bring your legs in a position where you can vertically go up. Bring the dumbbells close to you. And last step, explode and bring yourself down. So again, what mistakes people make here? It's again, it's a lack of amplitude. So instead of maximizing your leg power, instead of dropping down, people do like, oh, uh, uh, uh. And remember, if you are right here, you won't have enough leg power to start off the dumbbells right. From here, all I'll be using is my back. From here, it's all my legs. So difference from here and from here is significant, okay? So remember, 90% of Strength in this type of explosive movements are in legs. Don't underestimate it. Don't cut off one half of your body, right? So after you achieved 10 reps here, we're basically turning to the next station and throwing some bodyweight burpees. This station will have jumps on the burpees. Take a look. So first of all, form. So we are here, chest to floor push-ups, by the way. So step number one, Inhale, drop down. Number two, exhale, uh, get in a plank. Number three, inhale, exhale on a push up. Number four, exhale, five, exhale, and then go down for the following one. Mistakes people make are the same. It's a lack of brief control and it's a lack of amplitude. Again, you have strong legs, every one of you. Drop down don't do this you're too young for that all right now after 10 reps there are done we switch to the next guy and it's going to be the slam ball this slam ball weight is 18 kilograms 40 40 pounds so we bring the slam ball here in the middle and we perform the slam ball burpees all right so how are we gonna do it so first of all same thing form inhale drop down exhale get in a plank Inhale, exhale on a push-up. Exhale. Exhale and exhale. So basically, so again, hear me breathe. So I'm gonna tell you the same thing I already did a minute ago, use your legs. Your power is in legs, especially on this one. You want to start off with your legs and basically then just direct the trajectory of the equipment all the way where you need to. How do you think Olympic weightlifters go above 400 pounds above their head? Do you think they just lift it? No, legs, legs are massive. That's why be optimized. 
be efficient. Use every single part of your body, okay? So same here, stay explosive. Try to calculate how much effort you need on those legs to push the equipment all the way up and then exhale, leading the ball down. The drop point should be just right here. So lead it all the way down with your core, starting with your legs, full body work. And then the last station, which is supposed to be here, is just burpees. No jump here. So just inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, exhale, exhale. So this will give you different variety of the pressure of the same muscle groups. But at the same time, you can challenge yourself. You know that equipment obviously going to be more challenging to go through. The regular burpees can give you a little extra oxygen and remove the soreness for a quiet amount of time. So enjoy, enjoy. Let's see how, how quick I'll do this one. God bless and let's go here for you for every single day. Year, day, doesn't matter. Let's do it. All right, good to go. Timer starts, pow. Let's do it. Devil press 10. Switch station, next one, next station, 10 burpees, jump.
one round done. Right. Back to our next stage, which is going to be dumbbells again. In five, four, three, two, one. <coughs>
reps, two rounds out of five, baby. I bet 100 reps. 150, whatever. No. Two out of five, yeah, not hungry. Take the water, and we're going for round three. Yeah. Ten in. Catch your left. Great flow. Following. Regular burpees for the jump. Five, four, three, two, one.
effort until the end. Catch your breath. Almost there. Now that I'm looking forward to finish, enjoying every single bite of it. Let's go in. The regular purpose to finish the round four. In five, four, three, two, one.
Yes, finished. I'll attach the time. Not sure, but this was amazing. This was absolutely amazing. 200 reps only on burpees. Going down 200 times, 200 different push ups, and on top of that, different additional move. Brilliant. So happy. Thank you very much. Have a beautiful weekend.